<laughs> Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a chart with four quadrants, just like this, um, for the importance performance matrix uh, analysis. So to do that, we'll start from the beginning. So we'll have a particular fictitious company that has the service attributes, customer service, complaint handling, delivery, quality, and value. And then we have uh, these numbers for two uh, important criteria, performance and importance. Importance is how the customers, or what the customers think about that particular uh, service attribute, whether it's important or not. Whereas uh, this is also from the customer's point of view as to whether the customer think that the company is performing well on that particular attribute or not. Now, looking at the number, number one, essentially means that they are not doing so well on that one. If it is performance, they are not performing well on that attribute. And five is the highest value, which is not represented here, but five basically means they are doing very well on that particular value. Importance, um, one means it's not very important from the customer's point of view, and five would mean that it is very important from the customer's point of view. So these values are already available for us we can now create a chart based on these values. So the first thing we do is we select these data points and we go to insert and click on um, chart, chart area, and we have the scatter. We click on the scatter points. Once we click on the scatter points, we get our uh, chart obviously, and we'll be working on this chart to uh, convert it into the final product that we saw at the beginning of this video. So the first thing we do is we change the chart title. We call it IPA chart, importance performance analysis chart. The next thing we do is that if we look at the uh, highest levels that the Excel has decided on is 4.5. Because we don't have any fives here, it has decided that 4.5 is the highest value. But we know that five is the highest value, even though it's not represented here. So if that is the case, what we normally do is that we go and change the highest value of these uh, x's. So we click on the um, x-axis, for example, using our left mouse button. We click on our right mouse button, and then we click with our left mouse button on format axis. Once we click on it, we can see that the bound is given as 4.5. We make it five. And you'll see that it has turned it from 4.5 to five as five as the highest boundary. Similarly, if we go here and um, again, change the uh, level to five for the Y axis, we have got five and five on that one. And it makes it easier for us if we convert it to five and five, because if we're gonna make a quadrant, the quadrant will go from 2.5 and 2.5, and then it will be a equal space quadrant, basically. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is put the excess title. So it doesn't have any title on it. Now, over here, performance is the x-axis, importance is the y-axis. So we go to the uh, chart area again, and we select this particular chart area. In fact, we select the chart area. With the chart area selected, we go to design option. If you're not on the design option, if you're anywhere else, you click on the design option, and you go to chart, add chart element, and click on that. That's our access titles. And if you click on primary horizontal, you will see that access title will appear on underneath the x-axis, so we click on that, we go here, we know that this is performance. Similarly, we go back again, access titles, we click on primary vertical, and we have the vertical here, and we know that is importance. Okay, so we have got the basic framework already done. What we need to do is uh, essentially put the lines here. But before we do that, let us actually put some values on it. We still don't know what these values are representing because they are pretty much blank. 
So we click on it with our left mouse button. And then with our right mouse button, we click and we say format data series. Click on format data series. Sorry, it should be uh, data labels actually. Add data labels, click on add, and then add data labels. Okay, so the way you do that, let, let me do it again. Click on it uh, with your um, right mouse button and then click on format data labels. Now, if you click on format data labels, you'll see that the Y values are being shown. So all these values that are shown are Y values. We don't want Y values. We want values from a cell. What essentially we want is we want to actually name these values according to the attributes. So we click on value from cells. Okay, so if I click on value from cells, this particular option will appear. It's Excel is basically asking which values do you want to select for your value labels or values in this case. And we say we want these to be shown there. So we click on it, okay, and it's showing there. Now you'll notice that there are some numbers there. That's basically the Y values. We don't want the Y values. So we just click, uh, unclick the Y value, unclick the show leader lines. And what we have is essentially the values. Okay, so if you look at delivery, for example, performance is four, importance is two. Go there, performance is four, importance is two. So we have that. Customer service, performance is one, importance is four. We have it. So it tells us essentially which um, values these are. We can even work a bit further on it um, by clicking on it and then going to the design and we can go into the add chart element. We can go into the data label and right now it's on the right side. We might want to put it on the top. So we can do that. So the labels are actually on the top. Okay. Okay, now the essential part, which is to draw the lines um, so that we have the four quadrants. Now to do that, we have to remember that the lines will go horizontally like this from 2.5 to this way, basically. And another line will go vertically from here to here. So what we need essentially at the beginning, or at the first basically, is a point here and a point there, and then we can join them. So we need, for the horizontal line, we need two points, one here, one there. So let's uh, do them. So we call them horizontal one and horizontal two. So two points, one point and two points. So let's look at these. So this particular point that we need over here, the X value is zero. So this column is always X, that's it zero. And the Y value that we need is 2.5 for the point to be here. So the Y value would be 2.5. Similarly, we need another value on this one. So we can basically draw the line. So over here, the X value is five and the Y value is 2.5, so 2.5. So to draw the horizontal line, what we do is that we go to insert again. Actually, we uh, click on the chart and then we go to the design and we go select data. So now we see that the first series of data is already uh, here. So these values are basically the first series of data. We want to add a second series of data, which will be our horizontal line in this case. So we say add. And now Excel wants to know, okay, what's the X value? So we say, okay, the X value is this. And it wants to know what the Y value is as well. So we click on the Y value and we say, this is our Y value for the horizontal axis. And as you can already see, the two lines appear in orange. So we say, okay, and that is okay. So now we have the two lines. Let's do them for vertical as well. So remember with vertical, we need a point here and we need a point there and then we'll join them. So we need two points for vertical. So vertical one, and then we have vertical two. 
So let's look at vertical one, which is this point. X value is 2.5, so we write 2.5 here. And the Y value is zero, so we put zero here. Vertical two point is here, or going to be here. Over here, the X value is 2.5, because that's 2.5 here, so we keep it 2.5. The Y value is five, so we put it as five. And then again, we do the same thing. We select the chart area, we go to design, we go to select data. And right now we're gonna add the second or the third data. So again, X values for the vertical are just this. Y values, we delete that. And we go to the Y values are this. And you will notice that two gray dots have appeared. So we say, okay, so series one was the original data, which is the quality delivery value. Series two is the horizontal line data. Series three is the vertical line data. So we say, okay. So now we have got the dots that we wanted, the vertical dots and the horizontal dots. Next thing we want to do is basically join them. So the way we do that, we again click on the chart, we go to the design option, we now click on change chart, type, we click on it. Actually, we click on this data first and then we say chart type. Um, so we have to click on the dots. Let me do it again. So we click on the dots first, horizontal one and then we go to change chart type. And as you can see, series two, the orange one, and series three is the grade one. Now, both of them are scatter. We still want scatter, but with series two, what we want is a scatter with line. So we select the second option. You can see the lines already appeared. So this is like the preview version. With series three, we want the same thing. We want scatter, but we want with, with line. And then we say, okay, and you can see the quadrants have already been formed. So that's how you create um, an IPA chart with four quadrants. Now you could change the color of it if you wish. You can click on it, you go to color, and uh, or in this paint brush button, click on color. Right now it's showing you this one. Let me use this one so that the middle one is green and or the vertical is green and the horizontal is orange and that's how it's looking like. The next thing we want to do is add some uh, text on it so that we know what we need to do. So if you remember we had these options concentrate here, low priority, possible overkill, keep up the good work, we want to do that. So let's make it a bit bigger. Okay and uh, we're going to put the titles or the uh, strategies there basically. So we do that by clicking on insert and then going into uh, text, click on the text box and you can see the mouse has actually changed. So we can actually put a text box here and the first option was concentrate here. So we say concentrate here. Um, now we want a boundary around that so we go there and click on it and with our right click we can uh, in fact do an outline here just a very quick easy outline at the moment it says no outline let's say we want a blue outline uh, we also want it to be thicker maybe or we can even use the style here if we want uh, we want it to be thicker maybe um, and thicker means weight so we want to make it one here, and there you have it, concentrate. Concentrate here. Now you can click on it, and as it is selected, you can uh, do Control C for copy, move out of here, somewhere here, and then say Control V, and you see that it's been copied here. So what you do is that you bring it here, and let's go and look at our second option, which was keep up the good work. So we can say, keep up the good work.
again, control C, so the copy is still available. So what we do is that we go here, control V, we bring it here, and we know that that will be low priority. So low priority. We go there again, control V, and then we have this option here coming up, and that's possible overkill. And that's pretty much it. Um, and as you can see, this is what we had at the beginning. This is what we have essentially the same thing. If you think these lines are a bit thicker, you can actually go and click on the right mouse button. You can go into the outline. You can make it a little bit uh, thinner like that. Uh, you can do that for all of them, in fact, if you wish. Just change the weight to three quarter. Um, click on it and then go outline three quarter and three quarter here as well. And that's pretty much it. So thank you very much.